Hey, what's up? It's your boy. Uh, oh, this guy again. Well, that's convenient. Right as I start recording, there's a fucking dude. Hit me up. Uh, never mind this, just ignore it. Oh, he didn't grab his one chaos. Okay. Anyways, uh, this is, I just want to make a quick little video, um, of essentially how I am making money is I kind of figured this out on accident. I was like sentinel rushing for a long time on cemetery because, you know, it's a pretty easy map. Um, there's a good div card drop and such, uh. And then the Glacier Strat is definitely a viable strat. I wanted to do something like that, but on a map that has, you know, a good div card. Um, but Cemetery kind of takes a long time, right? Uh, I'm not the fastest mapper. And it's so hard to actually figure out where the boss is on that map. Um... So, I kind of just haven't been doing that for a while now. I went to MFing for a while, and now I'm just kind of like trying to, uh, you know, get a bunch of Searing Exarch stuffs, uh, just so I can like, you know, do the challenges and maybe get another Omniscience drop or something. Um, but I, I found this out on accident because I was doing, like, the strategy of where you go in, kill a mob, run out, right? Proc your thing, just run out, whatever. But on fields, the map fields, I think personally is better than Glacier. And I don't know how many people are going to watch this, but... I will show you why. Now, I'm not totally set up for boss rushing. I just have, you know, some of the this node, basically, because I've been doing, you know, MF stuff. Uh, I actually don't need that anymore. I was doing, I did like three eaters earlier. Anyways, so let me pop a fields and I'll show you what I mean of why I think it's actually better. Uh, if you have a fast character, you can get to the boss, pop all three of your sentinels, kill the boss, grab all the loot, and pop another map within a minute. Now, doing that on Glacier might also be possible, but uh, you don't get any of the, bo of the, uh, the boss drops, right? Now... Here, I'll show you what I do. I pop my uh, Stalker Sentinel when I go in, just kind of like let it tag all the things. It's tagging the things, tagging the things. I usually end up going to the end here and it'll tag everything, right? And then I just go back. And then that'll proc the Eater of Worlds or whatever you're doing. Well, well that's can't do much about that all right and then I should have a shrine in here now if you don't have a shrine you can kind of just kite for a while but then you find the shrine you pop your uh, thing and then you, you know just go all right and then you go somewhere else round up some other mobs pop your sentinel again and then bada bing, bada boom. All right. Normally it's not this slow. This is kind of like a, oh wait, where did it go? This is like a three layer map. Uh, well, I guess I could show you what I mean. Um, wow, two gilded, that's kind of nice. And 
here's the boss. Now, it does suck because it is a phase, but it's not a long phase, right? Like, you wait two seconds and then you pop your ball, or, uh, ball I almost said ball or F, but your ball lightning strike. So, anyways, uh, let me kill these things so I don't die. Anyways, so on the, on the map, you can see, like, there is a bridge here, like the bridge you go over. I would say about 70% of the time, there will only be one bridge and then the boss will be here. The other times there are two bridges and then the boss will always be here. The great thing about fields is you, there is no guessing where the boss is gonna be. It is always bottom left, always. You can run a thousand of these maps. It will always have the same layout. It doesn't switch like a toll or like uh, cemetery or anything like that. So you just go in, you pop your sentinels on the way to the boss. Once you pop your sentinels and you've looted, you just run all the way here, kill the boss, pick up your shit, portal out, and then, you know, do it again. Uh, I think the glacier strat is totally viable and great because it's so quick and you're not focusing on the boss but for the people who want to do the sentinel rushing strat as well as a boss rushing strat together because they're both very good things they kind of synergize very well and the Sentinel is a good thing to do on your way to the boss. I I really do think that this is probably the best map for it. Um, because there's going to be a lot of big packs. You're probably going to need this node. Just so you have at least one shrine. And like one guaranteed uh, Pandemonium Sentinel like juicy pandemonium sentinel uh trigger that you can get uh, but other than that i i really don't think you really need much on your tree uh you can just pick up you know the boss rushing stuff i'm like i said i'm not really specting to it that much i just wanted to proc my eater but i just found this and i thought people would be really kind of happy if they uh you know found a way to do both on a map that was, you know, relatively short. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, if you have any questions or if you think this is a good strat, let me know. I, I honestly am probably going to go buy like a hundred fields now and run them all. So <laughs> all right, you guys have a good one. Peace.